So here we are primered. A couple cans. I'll throw some yellow on them. And some yellow on them. No splitting headache yesterday. It's a pretty small shop I got to be doing this in. So it's not too bad, just a generic yellow trim clad. So the workbench is yellow. That's okay. It was gray this morning. So starting to come alive. Right. So later on Saturday afternoon here. Took most a fair bit of the day to detail these and paint them. So I haven't assembled them yet, but they're just put the little details and dots and things to denote nuts and bolts and side covers for winch access. Hydraulic lines. That's the hardest painting hydraulic lines. I'm not painting everything else. And the guy lines are color coded for each guy line block. So when they say tighten up that one, you at least know which one it is for safety reasons. Louvers on the rods, the hand cranks on for the winches. And here's a good one. If you open palm them, do them, to, do them together. I'm not talented. I got interlock garter. Easier on brakes. So. Engines painted up. The tips of the raising cylinder. Fuel tank caps. And I still got to draw gauges on there. That gray paint is wet there. And number two. set a cab on one went with white which is the front that's the front my white paint was not very good so it was a bit chunky and the hood Came to cover up that Detroit 12 V71. And on the tower on. So these, the colors, yuck, yeah, still wet. The colors on the blocks coordinate with the colors on the guy line drums. A couple of them are off. They're actually, it doesn't matter. There's a few things not here. I have no straw line drum or fair lead too that wouldn't come off of here, off of this corner. A couple details left out. I set it up in a log landing somewhere in a close up shot there. It'd probably look real. So there it is. For sale, 2,500 bucks. For one. I forgot the actual finish look is with the deck, the floors on it, the running boards. That's with the wood. 